Russian Snow is the first to show. Going down towards Swindley Bottom, joined by Time Allowed, and Time Allowed going on from Russian Snows, Altamir on the inside, then papering. Then comes Ninochka with Nazek on the outside, just behind them Priolino, then comes Spout, then Poppy Karoo, Roses in the Snow, and uh, finally Asterita. So they've got uh, more than a quarter to run now. And time allowed the leader from Altamira, Russian Snows and Papering. And on the outside is Spout. On the inside, uh, Nazek and Asterita still the back marker. Inside the final mile they are, time allowed the leader from Altamira and Papering. Just in behind them, Spout and Nazek and behind them Russian Snows and on the outside then comes Ninochka. Poppy Karu has dropped back to last now and Time Allowed is still the leader. Papering and Altamira close just in behind them Russian Snows and Spout. Then comes Nazek, Ninochka, Priolina being uh, pushed along there by Olivier Pellier as they pass the five furlong pole and still time allowed the leader time allowed from russian snows papering altamira spout making progress just in behind them ninochka and nazek and behind them come priolina coming towards the home turn time allowed the leader from russian snows papering and altamira then spout then comes Ninochka, then Priolina trying to make a little bit of ground in behind the lead. They're coming to the two furlong pole and making very good ground now is Spout on the outside. Over on the far side, time allowed. Time allowed, Spout and papering from Altamura and then Ninochka. It's Spout on the near side, time allowed on the far side. Ninochka still making ground, papering just in behind the leaders. Spout is the leader now, but being tackled once again by Time Allowed on the far side, it's Spout and, Spout and Time Allowed as they race towards the line, it's going to be close, it's a photo, it's a photo between Spout and Time Allowed, Ninochka was third and it was a photo for fourth between Altamura and Papering, it's very close once again, this one, a very, very close one indeed, Time Allowed over on the far side and Spout on this side, number two, and number 11. Spout definitely took it up at the furlong pole, but fighting all the way back all the time was time allowed. Here's how they came to the line. Oh, this is close. Time allowed. Might have just got up on the line to beat Spout. This is very, very close indeed. You wouldn't want to call it. Pat Edery involved once again in another very, very tight photo. Pat Edery, the rider of Spout, and John Reed, the rider of Time Allowed. Well, what a terrific, p gutsy performance this was by Time Allowed. Made the running, over-revving a little bit, had plenty of challenges to face in the centre, papering, Aldemira flattered for a moment, one off the rails, Spout came to take it up a furlong from home, went nearly half a length up, it looked all over, but it wasn't over for Time Allowed and John Reed. As Peter said, I wouldn't want to call this one, really, Julian. It's very, very close. But time allowed. Five times runner-up from six starts this year and one win. Is she runner-up again today? I hope not, because she really, really warrants this race. She sticks her little head out, goes all the way to the line, spout the bigger of the two, tries to worry her out of it. But let's go to the line with them. It's on the nod, and by goodness, it's close. But from this angle, perhaps spout has just gone there, but time allowed, I wonder why, Julian.